as talk shows went on, and as The Tonight Show and, and other various talk shows went on, staffs of people would interview the guests, and then they would write down the questions for the host to ask and stuff, and it was all sort of pre-digested before you got on the air. Not with Parr. You'd go in the makeup room, get your makeup on, and you'd think, what are we going to talk about tonight? I don't have anything to plug. I don't have any stories to tell. And we'd all panic. You'd go out, and he'd introduce you, and you'd do something. And he'd ask a question or say whatever came into his volatile mind. And you'd answer. And then pretty soon a conversation would strike up. And he might go off at a tangent to the left or to the right or straight up or whatever. And it was exciting. You had to stay on your toes. You had to listen. That was the secret. He listened. He listened to the answer and went from there. It was exciting television. And when Parr ended and Johnny was signed to do, Parr ended in the spring and Johnny was signed to do the fall start of the new Tonight Show. And for a long time I wasn't on the Johnny Show because I was so associated with Parr. But then as time wore on, I would come on and we would do the Mighty Carson Art Players. And he'd call me and he'd say, what do you think about this for a sketch? Well, we did the first lady in the, in the locker room, first lady reporter in the locker room, and I chased him right into the shower. <laughs> and we did Adam and Eve 25 years later when they're not getting along <laughs> so well. Then we did uh, Tarzan and Jane 25 years later when they're trying to get a divorce. And in the, our fat leopard suit, and Johnny was in his fig leaf as, okay. as Adam and Eve. And finally I said, Johnny, why don't you just admit it? Every time you want to take your clothes off, you call me. What is this? <laughs> but we had a good time. Yeah. We had one scene where it was during some high tides at Malibu, and they had a sketch where we had a romantic violin accompanied dinner at one of these Malibu restaurants. A couple little splashes of water came in bigger splash of water, and pretty soon 550 gallons of water washed us right off the stage. If the wall hadn't been there, we'd have been at CBS. You know. <laughs> Those 